Keeping this dude on the move. Oh, my gosh. These type of plays, you run a naked boot, one-on-one. -on -one. That's Joe Tryon. That's a first-round pass rusher. Very athletic one. Just sidesteps him, sidesteps him, jukes him, keeps it downfield. And at this point, this dude was just filling it. I mean, and if you can get this quarterback, young quarterback, and, you know, again, I'll be honest, you know, Greg Cassell, uh, myself, the dude is streaky as hell all throughout college. When he's on, he's on. When he's off, it's really off. But if you can get him in these situations where he's filling it like this, Man, you just tell him, go out there and just grip it and rip it. He's showing all of us this a bunch. I mean, it's not in, out in the games, but just how he's been since he's been here. He's, he's been extremely consistent. He hasn't had many too, too many ups and downs. Um, he's always, you know, in the preseason, he had to fight just to get, each, to get more reps every day. And um, we didn't go into it expecting. I mean, he would have been our number two going into this year if um, we didn't get Jimmy there at the end. Um, and we didn't expect that going into it. And for him to be able to do that and win that job was impressive. And um, then just him going out now. I'm just happy that um, he was able to go out there and perform at the level a lot of us thought that he was capable of. And, I mean, I know the players felt that way, the coaches felt that way, and guys played really good around him too. And uh, I was just happy for him because um, that's kind of what we see from him. Takes care of a pass rusher all by himself, keeps it downfield. Again, we're seeing a trend here with Brock Purdy when he notices the defender in trailing man coverage. You know, this isn't man, this is more of a zone. But when the defender has his back to you, you can be overly aggressive and try to get it in there. And it's worked twice so far. One for a pass interference on Croft in the end zone, and this pass right here. So if you can get that defender right here, you can see he's got his back to you. You don't have to worry about him. You just drop it right over his shoulder. Now the other guy almost came up and got it right here, but... For right now, that's pretty damn impressive. Get off me. I mean, that should have been a play. It should have been a throwaway. He's greedy. He wants it all, man. That is. This is one of the plays they're going to show in the, in the team room because this lets Kyle open up whatever bag of tricks he wants. The fact that you can run naked boots into their best pass rusher and not have him even touch, again, didn't even touch him. Didn't even touch him and complete this pass downfield. Now we're into off-scripted plays. Now we're into whatever. Like, it just allows Kyle to be crazy. What a throw, man. What a throw. And look at the first one there to congratulate on the sidelines. Love to see it. Who is it? Right there, baby, Trey Lance. You see how big Trey Lance is. He's a big cat. Aziz, baby. I love it, man. I really hope you enjoyed that film breakdown. Now, if you want more, here's the best way to get it. We put up every single offensive, defensive, special teams play, and more bonus episodes. We've got scouting report episodes, Zoom hangouts, and more at our Patreon. So if you want more content like that, all you got to do, go to patreon.com slash 49ers Rush Podcast or just Google 49ers and Patreon. We're the first one that shows up. We've got a lot more content there. So head over now. Trust me, you won't regret it. And if you do regret it, money back guaranteed. No questions asked. Just message me. Hey, not really what I was looking for. Refunded 100%. No issues. Support the show. Get the best 49ers content out there. Patreon.com slash 49ers Rush Podcast. Wow.